Hello and congratulations, soon-to-be lord or lady. Lord. Yes, if you're seeing this, then you have been handpicked to join the most prestigious club in the country, sometimes known as the Other Place or the Second Chamber. We do normally like to do these calls in person, but there are so many of you joining soon. And besides, the Prime Minister's busy, no doubt working on a new book or child. You might be thinking, why me? Why have I been chosen to join the UK legislature alongside former ministers, experts, and even a few bishops for some reason? What do I, a regular donor to the party, a former party treasurer, or a businessman who likes Brexit, delete as appropriate, have to offer? Well, we believe that anyone who still supports this government deserves a reward. And if levelling up doesn't mean increasing the level of our support in the unelected bit of our parliament, then I don't know what does. Plus, it's possible you're northern? You will be appointed a life peer in Boris Johnson's resignation honours list. Uh, and if you don't understand what those terms mean, life peer means you have power but can't be sacked. A bit like a handsy DJ. And every PM gets a resignation honours list. You know, like in a normal job, when you get fired, you might steal a few things from the stationery cupboard and put a few prawns in your boss's desk. Well, think of yourself as a prawn, and the next government is the desk. I hope that's clear. I'm sure by now that you're already considering your title and wondering which of your outfits looks best with ermine, but before that, there is one little thing that you have to do. You have to agree to turn up and vote for everything we tell you to. I mean, the, the first bit shouldn't be too onerous. There is a very generous turning up allowance. And look, of course, we would expect you to use your independent judgment and carefully consider every piece of legislation that goes before you, as long as you then vote for it anyway. Don't worry, we won't ask you to vote against your interests. In fact, you might have lobbied for it before you became a lord, which would be neat. And remember, all of that human rights malarkey only really applies to those people. You know who I'm talking about. If it helps, think of yourself as a rubber stamp made of prawns. Please be assured that this is all completely above board. It's not bribery, it's the British honours system. It's not corruption, it's fine. If this all sounds good, and why wouldn't it, just pop us a quick reply to the address you normally send your checks to, and no doubt we'll be seeing you on the red benches in no time. Oh, and if anyone is watching this video who isn't on our list, be aware that this is all a joke and we didn't mean any of it. Now, Suella says we're covered.